Jeff Yeager, the ultimate cheapskate, here to show you how to save some green by living green. Today, I'm gonna to turn into a slug. No, not one of these. One of these folks in the line behind me. Every day, about 4,000 people queue up in these lines, get in cars with total strangers to commute to their jobs in downtown Washington, D.C. It cuts down on pollution, it cuts down on congestion, you make a lot of friends, and uh, did I mention, it's free? Hi, you must be David LeBlanc, the guru of slugging. Uh, nice to meet you, nice to meet you. Well, I did write a book on it, so I think I know a little bit about slugging. Great, well, can you tell me more? Well, I think the best way is probably we take a drive and I'll just show you around. How about it? Let's go. Slugging, what is it, how's it done? Back in the early 70s, with the Arab oil embargo, they started uh, developing the HOV lanes. And the HOV at the time was HOV-4, so there were four occupants in the vehicle. What happened was uh, a carpool, let's say, that normally had four, somebody was on vacation or was sick and they didn't have the four occupants, they would pull up to a bus stop and ask somebody, hey, do you want to go to the Pentagon? Pretty soon that became more and more frequent. And so most of the slug lines are co-located with the bus stops. How would you go about starting a new one? Well, it's kind of all at the will of the people, and that's the interesting thing about slugging is that nobody is really in charge. They'll have a sign, they'll say, remember tomorrow we're starting a slug line. <laughs> and, and voila, the slug line is born. You're talking about solving the commuting crisis in a major urban city, and a big part of that solution is something that is entirely self-planned and self-regulated. It's not a government program, right. it's not a corporation that charges money. It, it, it really is, it's the common man approach to solve the problem. The, slugs and the drivers generally figure out the easiest, the best, and the safest way to, uh, to do it. And this does help the, the environment in so many different ways. You're taking two, if not three, cars off the road, plus just the wear and tear on the roads themselves, uh, the emissions, the, the parking once you get into the city. It, it, it just does so many good things. Uh, just like a carpool does. Obviously, people, when they hear it, they think of safety issues. Is it safe? Uh, have there been any incidents? Believe it or not, over the almost 30-something years that slugging has occurred, there hasn't been any, any kind of crime like that ever reported. The slugging itself is very safe. And it's, it's faster than the public transportation, and it's actually probably more environmentally friendly anyway. Thanks so much, David. Well, thank you. It's been a blast. It's been a pleasure. Hey, slug on. Happy, happy slug slugging. Happy slugging. Happy slugging.